Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Fur. Today we are going to play with the uh, VMware uh, Player and iPerf3, and we're going to test a few different things. So I want to jump right into it because I don't want to take up too much time. So the first thing uh, we have to cover is uh, what is it and why should I bother, right? So sometimes I have to troubleshoot baseline applications. At some point people say, how well this work? will this work across different networks, different sites, remote sites, and all that kind of jazz. Different sites at different speeds. Some might have packet loss, all that kind of jazz. So sometimes I bring along my trusty simulator, um, and that's usually the best way to go, right? So Apposite uh, usually has um, stuff that I can use in the field, some portable tools. I say usually because it all depends on what you're trying to test. And in most cases, they have these portable ones, these portable units you can bring around with you, and they do a great job. Sometimes I have to improvise, right? And in this case, we had VMware Workstation. And I explained to the client, we can actually change bandwidth settings and packet loss right in the player. And that would actually simulate the way things would work at a remote site. So the way it works is basically you modify the network adapter settings within VMware Player. And you can see it says network adapter bridged. Um, and then there's all your different connection options. We're just leaving it alone a bridge. You can play with whatever you want on your own time. And you can see here it says bandwidth unlimited and it says packet loss zero, both up and down. So that's the way it is by default. So the first thing we have to do if you want to play with this is understand a little bit about the architecture. So this thing is called the host operating system I'm running Windows 8. And there it is. And then VMware allows me to have a guest operating system, in this case Windows 7. So the host is going to be the server and the client is going to be Windows 7. And that's that's eventually what we're going to get to. All right. We also need a methodology. So I'm going to document what version of Workstation Player I'm running. I'm running 12. If you want to get the current one, it's 14. You can just go to this URL, either this or this. Um, or you can just go to VMware and just search for uh, the player and it'll pop right up. So there's our three-step process. We're going to work within our operating system first. We want to do a local test. Then we're going to go from guest to host operating system that is and the dash C means the guest is going to use that dash C option and the host is the dash S for server you'll see what that means in just a moment if you've never done this before we make changes and then we just retest so before I jump to that I want to briefly show you what I was doing so the first thing is there's what happens when you get I per version 3 you just unzip it you get a bunch of files right so if you want to go to the command prompt relatively quickly here's a really neat little trick you just go to your address bar and just type CMD Charlie Michael Daniels hit enter and then that just brings up the command prompt, which just popped up on my other screen. Let me just bring it over for you. And you'll see that's where the command prompt is. So that's a real easy way to get to the command prompt without you know, opening the command prompt, change directory, change drive, all that kind of jazz. All right. So that that's done. Now, I want to show you I've got two command prompts open right now. And let me just make sure you can see them both. There's one and there's the other one. So one is going to be the server. So iperf 3 dash s. He's a server. That's it. That's all there's to it. And now we need a client. So this guy is going to be iperf3-c. And the test we want to do, whoops, the test we want to do is an internal loopback, 127.0.0.1. So it's going to test inside my host operating system, the Windows 8 thing, my real computer. I want a baseline. I want to know how well things are working. So when you do this, that's called an upload. If you want to download, you just basically same command, dash capital R, enter and it'll run an upload test. So you can see I got 5.7 gig up and now this is going to give me the download test which was always slightly different right even when you talk about real systems out there. So 5.7 and 6.99 so call it 7 for example. So that's our baseline so I'm going to run five tests get rid of the high get rid of the low average the three remaining numbers okay. After that I'm going to introduce my virtual machine there's my virtual machine. So it's VMware player running Windows 7 and you can see there it is. I'm going to run iperf-c and the IP address and off it goes to the races. And you can see 500, 536, 570. So this is a far cry from the multi gigabit speeds we just had a moment ago, right? And this is VMware with all the defaults. So if I go over to manage virtual machine, machine settings, you'll see Network adapter, and there's bridged, and here's where you do the magic, advanced. So let's pretend we want to pretend, I don't know, we want to make this look like a 10 meg link. Um, this is going to be incoming, that's download, and then up going up, we're going to do, for example, 192 kilobits per second. Let's put 1% packet loss either way, okay, okay, and now we can rerun our test again. 
So in this case, we're using iPerf as the application, but in the real world, you could use whatever web app, Outlook, whatever application you're trying to test in, you know, in this particular situation, and document how well it behaves. Does it time out? Does it give you funky errors? All that kind of jazz. And you can see there's your um, throughput, right? It's pretty bad, pretty low, but that's just the way it is based on those parameters that I put into it. So let's jump back on the slides here. So the internal test, you can see uh, I drop the high and the low, that's the red ones, and then I average the three. Same thing, I did the same methodology, but this was from the guest to the host operating system. You can see now we're talking megabits instead of gigabits. And then what I did was I changed this to 10 megabits per second. That's what I wanted for my test with no packet loss. And it was 10 right across the board, which was great for math, right? <laughs> Then over here I changed it to uh, 10 and 10, but I put 10% packet loss as well. So I'm staying with the 10 themes, right? 10 megabits up, 10 megabits down, 10% packet loss up, 10% packet loss down. And you can see the throughput kind of really tanks out, which is a great way to illustrate to people the effects of packet loss and throughput. So I hope that helps. I tried to keep this under 10 minutes. Uh, there's going to be a write-up as well, so you can read the article and the link will be in the YouTube video. And you can actually go and read a little bit more about it. But I wanted to get you going, introduce you to the VMware player, and introduce you to iPerf 3 if you had not used it yet. So that's it, folks. Have a good day. Bye for now.